I'm Kitty Gumdrop and you're watching Kitty's channel. Last day of vacation week. I know it's really sad. I have to go back to work soon. But, I mean, I decided to make it a fun video if it's going to be the last video. So we're going to be doing acrylic string paintings. I got the idea from Jenna Marbles. I'll go ahead and link her video down below in the description for you as well. And... Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Slapping paint on the canvas and then pulling string across and seeing what comes out. Hopefully something cute. First, we're going to mix up some white and black with some olive oil. Because the olive oil, I guess, is supposed to create like those, uh, what are they called? Cells. Which will be little bubbles in the paint as it settles and moves along if we do it correctly. Which, I don't know, probably not, but we're going to try. By the way, <clears throat> we may not be using the correct acrylic paints for this, but I really, I don't care. This is what I have. This is what I'm using. I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of acrylic paints that I can't really afford at the moment. We're just going to go with what I have and hope it works. I'm sure it'll be fine. So you're more than welcome to tell me in the comments below if not this will work or if this is fine, if it's the same thing, if it's no difference. I'm using it anyway. We're already here. And I'm just going to... Dump a little bit at a time. That looks like a pretty generous amount. Yeah, white on me. That's fast. <laughs> Before we mix up any more, I want to decide what colors I'm using on my first one. How many are we doing? Probably a couple. I'm gonna do black. Two to three, we'll see. I'm gonna do black. You're gonna do black on your <clears> first one? I'll yeah. do white on my first one then. We should go ahead and pick out the color palette that we're gonna use with the first one so that we can go ahead and mix it up and just get started. Note to self, if you mix colors, make sure you mix the colors before you mix the olive oil in because I've got speckled paint. That's interesting. Whatever, I'm using that as is. Oh. Oh. Ah. My first one's gonna have like a purple, orange, and a blue. Kind of like a mauve purple though. Mine's just gonna have red and purple. Well, and black too, obviously. What? Oh, it's one of my cups of string. Yeah, let's cut some string first and then we'll do the canvas. This is also just string that we have. We didn't go out and get specific string, so if we have the wrong string, we're making do with it. It'll be fine. Maybe it'll be long enough for this. I feel like it will be. It's whatever you want. It's art. There's no rules. I really hope I don't wind up using all this. I feel like I'm totally going to, though. I'm just going to, like... It takes a lot, yeah. I want to do this. Oh, nope. Canvases soak up a lot of paint. Yeah, that's why I just dumped it on. I figured Same. it would look pretty porous. I guess it's okay if it drips over a little bit. A little bit, actually. I ain't actually. trying to make a huge mess. Oh, never mind. I think I'm going to scoop some back into the cup. Yeah. All right, I think that's sufficiently even and thick enough. I think, I hope. <laughs> again, I think, I hope, I think, I hope. Yeah, again, don't know. I've never done this, so... Now I'm just painting the inside of this cup. Why? Because I'm crazy. Don't. You're gonna make a mess. I'm just trying to get the paint off. Uh, just stick it oh, in. Oh, just stick it in? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that's what you were doing here. <laughs> I didn't know that's what we were doing. String theory. No, that's that's not what this is. String theory. Let's start the way. I'm gonna start it up here. Alright, okay, so that's where I'm going with it. I'm going to do this. And lay it off right there. Ooh. Oh god, it's so long. Oh, it's so long. Yes, yeah, what I thought about that one, and then that's all it did. No, oh, yours is actually pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I take that back. Yeah, yeah. Oh crap, my. You know what? I'm not gonna lay them all out. I'm just gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna lay, I'm only doing two, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so I've got to grab this one. And woo! First pull. There's my first pull. What do you think? It looks really good. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do mine now. That looks so cool. It looks like a flower. Does it? It looks like a red stem with oh. a purple flower. That's kind of cool. Heck yeah. I'm going to take a shorter one of the thick strings and go in this teal color I made. I'm going to calm down. Quit shaking so damn much. What's wrong with you? Oh, cool. Dude, you stick to the sticks so much and I hate it. Oh god, I almost touched the TV. 
I think I'm gonna take a longer one of the thin strings and dip it in the teal color. And then I'm gonna move the teal color to the top and then move on to orange. What do you think? Sounds like a pretty good idea. Ew. My green paint's blowing bubbles like a bog. I'm done. <gasps> That's so cool. Yep, I think so too. And I actually don't wanna screw it up to, by adding more. So that one's done. I'm keeping that one. By the way, I'm sorry that I don't have a second camera. I really, really wish I did so you guys could better see what's going on, but this is what we're gonna do for you guys. Since we didn't explain especially well in the beginning what we were gonna do, I'm gonna explain this while I lay this out. Our plan with these is we're going to paint them so that you guys can see the best you can with what we're doing here. And then, after we're done painting, yeah. well, we're gonna sit down with all our dried pieces, hold them up, and name each of them and give you guys a final reveal after they're dry because we feel like you deserve that since I can't give you a good shot secondary and I really wish I could. I'm working on it, I really am. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more pool. I like that pool I just did. I like the one I just did. I didn't screw it up. That's the last one I'm doing now. Ooh, that's pretty cool. This is like more. way easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> do you agree? Yeah, this is fun. This is really fun. Like, this is easy art. This looks pretty damn good, in my opinion. So we're each going to do two to three canvases. We'll uh, at least each do a black one and a white one, and then maybe do whichever one we want to do out of our favorites of the black and white canvases last. I'm going to add one more color. Okay, here it is. I'm going to add, like, a streak of blue. Just one. Every time I do one, I just want to keep doing more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to do one more. This was so that bit. Ah! That was not an appropriate response. <laughs> I'm a decently large man in a very small environment. Help! I almost touched your canvas. That would have been rude. That would have been sad. Oh, I'm going to smack her right down the middle. I'm going to start it back here. Do a little one of these numbers. Give her a little pooly woo. And a little whammy jammy. Nope. A little whammy jammy. Looks like a music note. <laughs> or the goosebump symbol. I, oh, f it does look like the goosebump <laughs> symbol. That wasn't on purpose at all, bro. Like, it's upside down to us, yeah, but yeah, like but to, to you guys. guys. <laughs> Dude, sick. It's even got a cool background. Well, we already know what this one's name is then. <laughs> no, we don't. <gasps> Muscles. Bam. So we got our first canvases chilling in the bathtub. We have, like I said, I've said this before, we have a small apartment. So we got uh, another tablecloth laid out in the bathtub for them to dry and you'll see them tomorrow. But we're going to be starting our last canvases. We don't really have a lot of time to do more. We got a family thing to do tomorrow with my mom. So my plan is I'm going to do a black canvas since I already did a white canvas. And then I'm going to drag off some colorful colors. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the neon one. I'm going to go with half white, half black because I feel like that sounds super cool. So yeah, this one's a thicky. I'm going to use all black light colors on this one. Ooh, that's going to be freaking cool. I'm making kind of a coral color, a bluish purple color, red and yellow. I am going to do neon pink, uh, blue. Time for some olive oil. You know what? Some yellow. That sounds pretty good. I'm going to make the paint pretty oily because I want a lot of cells this time. Ew. Covered in oil. Can I go up and down black and white or side to side black and white? Whatever you want to do, it's your canvas. I'm going to put these out of the way. Oh, good, yeah, actually. I wouldn't have even thought about it, honestly, had you not said anything. You hit my ears. Oh, God. I killed the kitty. And she's back. It's fine. Mine are all very oily. Okay. Oh, flipped paint somewhere. That's okay. That happens. We can give Thor a black spot and he'll look like Scooby. This is fine. Cruella de Vil theme since the movie's coming out soon. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Did you not know that? They're doing a Cruella de Vil movie. It'd be great. That's pretty cool, actually. I know, actually. I mean, well, I don't know why I said actually, too. Probably because we didn't know that we liked that movie. 
like each of us. All right, so me and Michael are about to start our second string paintings, and we're really excited about this because we both did something different. And I was thinking uh, black light for mine, and he's thinking half and half Cruella de Vil style for his. So we'll see, huh? Yep, we'll see. This might turn out like poo, or it might turn out freaking cool. I'm gonna do mine in the neon red first, the neon black light red. I am starting with the pink. I'm gonna lay that one on the black the best I can. See what that does. I'm gonna start right here. Go this way, go this way. Yes, just like that. That's what we're doing. Oh God, it fell in. So little control. I'm telling you, yeah, once it's up there, it's just a shaky little bitch. What if I lay down two and do two at the same time? Good. Okay, I'm laying down two, but I'm only doing one at a time. I'm gonna see if we can get a little technique in here. Probably not, but we're gonna try. First pull. That's already cool. <laughs> Thank you. I lied about the technique. It's tech. No, you know what? I committed. We're doing it. We're doing two at the same time. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how that comes out. I'm, I'm afraid to do both at the same time. I'm afraid so that's going to come out I. so bad. Okay, are you ready? You ready for some talent? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, God. I don't have an exit plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that's my boy. That's my boy. There's my cup. Ooh, purple. You're purple. My purple. You're purple now. I meant to say my finger, but you know, my purple came you out. You used the wrong possessive of your. That was my blue pool. I got a lot of cells in here so far already. Nice. It looks like a wave. I'm going to do a big string of yellow, too, and then I'm going to move on to small strings of coral, I think. Oh, that looks like separated mustard. Can you hand me a towel of paper? I'm going to drape this up here, all the way through the middle. It's a bold choice. So is yours. All right, here we go. You ready? I screwed it up. I'm going to pull it towards you and then towards me. Mine came out crappy. I almost touched the TV again. This is not a good strategy for me. Ooh, I tapped it. Okay, I'm just nervous for it. That was my second yellow pool. That's all I'm, that's, I'm done. I was done. You're done? I'm done. I don't want to screw it up. If I do any more, I know I'm going to screw it up. the same string. I think this will be my last piece on this one. And then I'm done with it. You know we're just going to let these dry like what overnight? Yeah. They should be dry in the morning, right? Oh yeah. I'm excited about it. It's going to be black light too. <laughs> Mine would have been cool if I hadn't messed up the black and white splitting. I freaking got black on my other white canvas. I like it. I think it looks neat. It looks like, uh, it looks like two worlds that are starting to merge as one. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was trying to emulate with the yellow strings crossing into both, actually. That's actually what you have. Or at least that's what I got out of it. Let me know if you guys got the same thing. Well, I guess you'll see better tomorrow when we present these when they're dry. So me and Michael have completely finished our second canvases. I can't remember if I said that or not, so I'm going to repeat it again for, you know, safety purposes. Yeah. So we're going to go put these up with the other ones and we'll see you guys to present what we have left and name them tomorrow. Okay, so it's been three days since we actually did these paintings. This took me so long to get dried. Mine's still not completely dry, actually. It has a few oil spots, but as long as I'm really careful, I think I can hold it up to show you guys. Yeah, it, should, it looks pretty stagnant. I don't think it's going to go anywhere, so it should be fine. Stagnant oil. Do you want to start with your first painting? Uh, the first one you did? Sure, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, is my first one. I didn't really know what I was trying to do with it. It was my first string art painting as well, so 
but this middle uh, little blue G shape right there is what's inspiring me for the name. This one is called Say Cheese and Die. Uh, it's the title of uh, one of R.L. Stein's Goosebumps books, and it's about the only one that I could find that had sort of blue lettering. So that's the name of this one. Oh, don't slap your painting, you're gonna ruin it. <laughs> Artist slaps the top of painting. <laughs> Ruins it. Oh god. All right. And this one uh, I did a split like half white half black um, I'm calling this one infected plane uh, Not like a plane that flies but kind of like planes like planes of existence, you know, like infected plane Yeah, like so I'm, I'm classifying this as like the underworld this the overworld and this green is like it's spilling in like you can actually see it spilling into the Can't light a little bit that. here You can see it spilling in to the white a little bit over here and it's starting to just morph and get all infected and disgusting and if I bring it up close you can see that the green is the only thing that actually has cells which is why I'm saying that it's just an infection that these two worlds coming together is causing so that's mine I got say cheese and die and infected plain we also discovered when we were making the stuff that uh the paint that uh more oil is better because you end up with way more, like, if it looks way too oily, it's perfect. Yep, honestly. <laughs> Which we didn't think, because uh, I thought that the one that I did my first painting with was really oily, and it turned out it it looks like pretty natural paint. There's not much going on cell-wise. There's a few, but not, yeah, not Yeah, I got many. some in the green, but I don't have anything in anything else. Yeah. Which, this is my first painting. The thing that came to my mind when I first saw this was origami, so that's what I've named it. Simply because I see what looks like an origami crane right through here, and it's like the centerpiece of the whole painting. It also matches kind of the walls of my house. Does it? Like, I don't know. It goes well with oh, the yeah. wall color. Very 70s color vibe, and not in a good way. It's like that 70s couch that everybody had, and then everybody in the 90s is like, oh my god, we gotta get rid of this dusty ass thing. Last but not least is my personal favorite of my two that I made. <sighs> Oh, there is fur on it. That's why I was doing that, yeah. The first stays for now, because <laughs> I don't want to rub my fingers all over the oil, but I'll get it off later. Yeah. So if you see that, I'm sorry. Anyway, this one was my favorite of the ones that I did. I did it all in black light paint, so it's showing up really, really well on the uh, ring light that I have set up right now. In regular light, it doesn't look as vibrant, so I think I'll have to set this up under a black light for it to get its true detail going on. But... You can actually really, really... I'm going to hold this up close for a second so you can see all the cells going on in there. Yeah, it's... It broke up really well. There was so much oil in the paint I used. I looked at it and I was like, I ruined this paint. This painting's going to come out ridiculous. And it came out like the coolest one out of all of them, in my opinion. Well, I appreciate your opinion. But I didn't name this one yet, so I was thinking if you guys had any ideas, go ahead and leave comments down below and I would name it what I think is the best idea out of all those because, um... I've got nothing going on. I've been staring at it for a little bit. Nothing comes to mind. So I think I need your guys' help on this one. I'm going to let you guys name it for obviously, but I think it's like Toxic Symbiote. What do you think? You got any opinions back there? I mean, I like the Toxic Symbiote theory because right? like, I wasn't looking at it like symbiotes and I'm like... But now you kind of, yeah, you come around to it, right? Yeah, yeah, like symbiotes in their true form, like just like duking it out. If you like that, that's maybe what we'll call it. But that was not really Leave a like down below. If you like Michael's idea about the toxic symbiotes, go ahead and leave a comment down below letting us know. Or if you have your own idea for what you think it should be called, leave that comment down below as well. Because I do go through every single comment that's left on my channel. I actually enjoy it. I've had way too much coffee. This yeah. is directly after work <laughs> and I was just like, coffee, 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 film. <laughs> Anyway, I enjoyed vacation week. It was probably the best way I could have spent it. Because, yeah, I did work the whole time. But it doesn't feel like work when you really enjoy it. And I got to spend it with you guys. So it didn't feel quite as lonely as my vacation could have. Just me, the dog, and the wall. Yeah, I was I was working the whole time. So she was pretty much by herself, unfortunately. So if you liked that video, go ahead and leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys Monday.